20 miles to go. 20 miles to go before I get in New York City. Y'all can see that 20 miles for somebody asked Ram McNally TND 80. Some New Jersey Turnpike. I always stop right here. Every time I come to New York, I stop right here. Get my thoughts together. That's a, a toll plaza right there. I could have took the express lane and shot right through, but I always come through the cash lane and take me a little break. I do it every time. Come here, stretch my legs, use the bathroom if I have to. This is the last little bit of sanity before I cross over that George Washington Bridge. <laughs> right down that road. Right down the road. It's the last little bit of sanity I got. So I come here, stretch my legs, then I get back on it. We got 20 more miles. So we're about to go ahead and get on it right now. watching me in England. This is New York City, the Big Apple. What we call it in America, the Big Apple. For all my English viewers, and my uh, Australian viewers, my Indian viewers, South African viewers, everyone that watches in all the other countries around the world. Speed limit, five miles per hour. Look at this truck beside me, just shot right through it. See that truck to my left? I can't shoot through it like that. I get nervous. Twice in my career. One time I, sh I, I went through a one that was for cars only and I knocked over some cones. And another time, I think in Baltimore, 95, I, I ran one of my tires up on the, on the thing. So I take it, the speed limit says five miles an hour, so I took it five miles an hour. 
see that guy, he shot right through him, and he's still hauling ass. Hey, slow and steady wins the race. I ain't in no rush. Ah, ah. Y'all hear these bumps? This is the George Washington Bridge. There's the police going to get somebody. All this crime in New York. If anybody wants to know about this George Washington Bridge, I'd, I'd advise you to Google it. It'll tell you all the history about it. I do know, because I, oh, I Googled it one time, and I know that they put those these little, little nets on the side of it. If you look to my right, they put those nets on the side of the bridge, because uh, a lot of people use, used to use this bridge for uh, suicide attempts. Yes, it is a pretty, oh, pretty long way down. So that's why they put the nets on the side of it. Now after we get across this bridge and through this tunnel, you'll see they, they actually paved, they paved the uh, road up here. Oh man. I'm only going 35 miles an hour. And these bumps are terrible. Once you get across these tunnels, the road will kind of it'll kind of smooth out. It's kind of tricky in this tunnel. Cut my lights on because when you come out the end of this tunnel, you gotta make a, a merge. Like a, they got the lines in the road messed up, so you gotta kind of merge to the left and make sure ain't nobody beside you. Oh man, I see that police officers up here. Lights flashing. That left lane, that truck on my left, you know, you gotta kinda take it. Two it's not safe for two trucks to try to go at one time because it's kind of a little short little curve. I'm coming to it right now. This is it right here. This lane merges with the lane from the other side. Usually those cars will try to run right up under you. Like this white car to my right, let's see. You see the merge right there? If you didn't see the merge, rewind the video and look on the ground, look at the white line. They just merged together. City traffic for you. And this ain't even bad right here compared to how it used to be before the virus came. Before the virus, it was terrible. Yeah, it was definitely terrible before that virus. Last week when I came, I came straight through. It wasn't no standstill traffic like this. Look at that guy on that motorcycle. Just cutting through traffic. My CB's not on, so I don't know what I don't know what's going on. If they would even say anything about it. But I see an oversized load sitting over here on the right. He's sitting there chilling. Not sure what he's doing. He probably need an escort or something. I guarantee you it's probably an accident up there. I'm gonna fight through this for a little while. I'm gonna stop recording because I don't want this video to be an hour long. So I can catch up with y'all when I get to my exit. Well, 
made it through the hard part. Not too bad. Once I went past about two exits, kind of, kind of leveled out, opened up. Now to go to Queens, I want to merge to the right over there to, on the other side. Got to cross over another bridge. It'll take you into Queens. I used to take pipes up there. Y'all know last time I went, I, I brought the drop trailer back out. And I ain't been back ever since. And from what the guy told me, this might be the last Bronx load for a couple weeks. So we'll see. off on exit 8C. I'm passing 7C right now. I knew this truck was going to merge over because it says exit only. And I doubt he's getting off on that exit. So I figured he was going to merge over. I got to merge over to the left one more time. Because uh, we're going to run up on exit 8B. And that's going to be an exit only. So I'm going to get to the left one more time. We're gonna wait right now. We ain't gonna do it right now. Too much traffic. The exit that I'm getting off on is actually it's not even a truck exit. It's, it's a sign on it. It says uh, passenger vehicles only. But that's the way you got to get off for this job site that I'm going to. You gotta get off on 8C. Even though it's for passenger vehicles only. I guess you can try that in a uh, in a mid roof like I got. But in a, a big truck, like a condo like that, that drive in in front of me, probably couldn't make it. Because it is a low bridge right there when I get off the exit. I'm not sure how tall it is, but it's low enough for me. Now we're going to get on. So exit 8B is right there. That's passenger vehicles only. The truck in front of me. You see him, he's getting over too. Okay, exit 8C. You see that sign? You probably can't see it. It says passenger cars only. That's my exit. One mile away. So we're just going to cruise it right here until we get there. We're gonna be at the job site. Well, we ain't gonna be at the job site. We're gonna be at the staging area for the job site. I'm not, I'm not sure how far it is to get to Connecticut from where I'm at right now, but I say it's probably about 30 minutes from here. It ain't far. Ride 95 North all the way to Connecticut. I haven't been to Connecticut in a while. Probably since, probably since last year, last time I've been to Connecticut. But I used to go all the time. I could leave my house and go all the way to Connecticut. They got a service area as soon as you come in Connecticut. Probably about 10 miles across the border, they got a service area on the right. And I leave my house and I go there, and that's where I take my 10 hours at. But I haven't been there in a while. Here's my exit right here. There it is. See the sign up there? It says passenger cars only. And this is it. Passenger cars only. It's your road to Miles. Keep to the left on I 95 towards the left. Take exit 10, Gun Hill Road, in 620 feet of mile. See, the GPS wanted me to go to exit 10. That ain't the way to go. 100 feet, go straight on. Exit 8C and then take the entrance to the right at 490 feet. Yeah, my truck, my truck GPS want me to get right back on 95 South. Let's get on out of here. Let's get on out of here. It doesn't even have a sign. 
it doesn't even have a sign on this bridge that tell you how tall it is. But I know it's low enough because this, this is the route that they got me on. But I did just look out my window and looked at my mirror and seen looked at that damn top pipe. But that top pipe is pretty tall. But I cleared it. We're almost there. Almost there. I gotta go up here and make a right. I gotta pass. I'm gonna pass by a bus stop. Go ahead, buddy. I gotta pass by a bus stop, make a right, then I gotta make a left. And we're gonna be there. GPS say weight violation ahead. 500 feet, go straight on. Still well avenue and then turn left in 260 feet. And I gotta wait on this bus before I can go. Damn bicycle riders. Yeah, I gotta wait on this bus. Look like he moving now. Uh, he caught a yellow light, so he ain't gonna move. Another bus coming up beside me. I hope you don't try to squeeze in front of me. Six trucker got that long nose. I think that's a Peterbilt. He got a long nose Peterbilt. Hey, you might not need to bring your truck down here in New York. Uh, I gotta go real wide right here. I can't go for so wide. Turn left. Oh, we made it. We made it. Woo. And this time I didn't actually run my damn trailer tires on the sidewalk. I made it. Woo! In a quarter mile, turn right on East Chester Road and then approaching destination on the left side in zero feet. You heard the GPS said approaching destination on the right side? <laughs> left curve ahead. There ain't no left curve ahead. Yeah, the GPS is the It'll go out for a minute when it when it sees that weight violation. Then it'll uh, it'll line back up. In 600 feet, turn right on East Chester Road and then approaching destination on the left side in zero feet. Here we go. Almost there. See, this is a residential uh, neighborhood, don't you? You have arrived at your destination. I'm here, but I ain't gonna park right here. I gotta keep straight to that light and go to the park. Hey, do not try this at home, gang. If the exit says no trucks, might not want to take it. This this is coming from a, an experienced New York driver. Cause truck GPS won't bring you here. It won't it won't put you off on that exit. I had to get the directions from uh, uh that must have been Texas. Yeah I gotta follow the directions from the uh, from the receiver. And the very first time I came up here 
I actually talked on the phone with the guy all the way up till I got up here where I'm about to go now. Yeah, we talked on the phone for a good while. And he walked me all the way here. And I asked him, I said, uh, I'll be able to get up under that bridge. He was like, yeah. You see the construction vehicles out here? They got this one in my way, cause I usually- Turn right, turn right at 430 feet. I usually park right there. I usually park where this one is at. But I gotta get in front of that one. Mother, you know better than to leave that damn thing right there. Oh, tight squeeze. We're gonna get it though. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it, baby. thing I'm doing now is getting my trailer off the road. We're going to be shutting it down. Get the trailer off the road. Woo! We made it! <laughs> we made it! Made it. Man, all them damn bumps. All the bumps made my other edge protector fall out. Look at that. Look at that strap. Yeah, this thing actually shifted. See that pallet is sideways. I just checked it when I stopped at that uh that little, uh, where was I just at? That toll plaza. I just checked it. Yeah, that's another reason I stopped there too. I stopped there to get out, stretch my legs, and make sure all the straps are good. You see the edge protector right there? Yeah, it fell off. Look at that strap. Yeah, but we here now. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven straps on here. And I'm probably gonna take, I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna take five of them off tonight and leave the one on the front and the one on the back. I'm gonna take five of them off. <sighs> yep. Go ahead and do that in a little bit. Let me show y'all where I gotta go at in the morning. I seen a couple cars going straight through. A little walking trail. Yeah, it's a park right there. I don't think it's too good of a park. see a truck back there chilling chilling in the cut how good thank you i'm all right man <laughs> i'll take one shot <laughs> Take one. Oh, I, I almost made it. I'll take one more, one more. That's a GoPro you got? GoPro. Hey. Yeah, it's a GoPro. Yeah, that's what that's what one hand. Hey. Uh, all right, last last one. That's yeah, that's my truck over there, man. I gotta deliver a load up here. Uh, all right, man. Thank you.
Hey. Can't make this up. <laughs> here we go. I gotta make this turn right here in the morning. And that car is in the way already. See those cones? Those cones are usually right here where they can't park. But yeah, I gotta make this turn right here. And go down this road to the stoplight and then make another right. Straight down the road and that's it. Let me walk back to my truck. For the, get away from these kids before they try to put, maybe put my tennis shoes on. Good morning, gang. Here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go. Let's make this left turn. I get as far over to the right as I can. Those cars moved out of the way that was right here. So that's a good thing. As you can see, I don't have any help. <laughs> the guy came and knocked on my door and tells me what to do, make the left, make the right. But they don't they don't stick around to help. Yeah, see how far over to the right I came? If it would have been a car right there, it would have been kind of difficult. Yeah, we made, made it pretty easy. Yeah, because I have had one time before where I had to back up and and try to cut it a little harder. Yeah. 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 Got the green light. It turned yellow right there, but we got it. Here we go. Oh. See that pole back there? Yeah. I may make it look easy. But it's not easy. <laughs> Definitely not easy. Don't try this at home. Leave this to the professional drivers like we are. For all my non-CDL holders. For your new new drivers just getting started, you may want to be real careful up here in New York City. We're almost there. to be the next stoplight. You want to make it right. Almost there. I'm not driving that fast. I'm only going 15. Because you see this road, it got grooves in it. And if I bounce that little edge, I don't want to bounce and hit the side of this damn thing right here. This really ain't a truck route. So I, I'm just taking it easy. Now when I first started coming up here, I used to have um, a pilot car when I first came up here. But now since I've been coming so much, they just knock on the door and they haul ass. Sucks to be me right. And this is where we're gonna make the right. On Williams Bridge. We're gonna make the right. We're gonna make the left right here. A 
few months back. I got stuck making this left turn. They had to pick up my trailer and swing it. This is when they had the whole road uh, tore up right here. Now I gotta go wide once again. There we go, I gotta go wide once more. Yeah, they used to have the whole road tore up right here. Making this turn right here. They, they, they got it covered back up now and paved it. You can't even tell. There's the truck, you see the truck? <laughs> my ground guy. Yeah, they used to have this whole road tour right here. That's going to get tight when I get a little further down. They've already finished it, everything back here. A little further down, though. You'll see how... Uh, Let's see how tight it is. I'm gonna have to creep. I'll tell you what, I got some good sleep last night. I was knocked out. I actually woke up this morning about five, about 5.15 and I went back to sleep. Tight, getting tight. My uncle used to tell me, whoa, the car back there. Whoa, my uncle used to tell me, act like you got some hair around it. Whew, it's getting tight. I wish you could see that guy tell him, waving me back there, telling me to keep going. I, I am trying to. I don't want to hit the damn tree. Oh, here we go. It's tight now. I actually hit my passenger mirror on one of these trees a long time ago, too. Put and pushed it in. I actually ended up cracking the bottom, the bottom of it. I had to get it fixed at the terminal. Uh, 6.56 a.m. right now. I'll probably be after leaving out of here by 7.30. Oh, wow, they got a stoplight now? right here to my right this is called Wallace Avenue this is the road that I got to leave out on right here to the right I don't know if you just saw that sign just now it said the bridge is 12-4 I'm going almost to that bridge told me to stop.
gotta wait till they close the street down here. I wish I could have pulled up a little more. And I would have uh, been in this little open area right here. So I could start taking the straps. Start taking the rest of the straps.
Donuts, white pipes, subway up there. Let me see this again. Truck route. How the hell is this a truck route? It's 12 2. What the hell? Maybe for those uh, little small trucks. my wallet out of the truck and go back right here to Mr. Dunkin' Donuts get some coffee
Somebody asked me to make a backing video. Subscriber request, make a backing video. I'm not sure how much you'll get from this one, <clears throat> but I gotta back all the way up down this one way street. One thing I learned a long time ago, when you're looking out your driver window, out of sight, turn right. See the tread, turn left. Out of sight, turn right. So if you see the tread, you turn the wheel left. If the, if the tire is out of sight, you turn the wheel right. Basically, basically, left makes the trailer go right, right makes the trailer go left. I think y'all, I think y'all got it. Always remember that. I still, I, I still keep that in my head now when I'm backing up at the truck stop. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't, but <laughs> I used to, but it's something to always keep in mind. Out of sight, turn right. See the tread, turn left. <clears throat> I got a lot of space back here now, so it ain't that bad. But once I get back a little further, it'll, it'll kind of tighten up. They're going to take those other two pieces off back here. I did the same exact thing last week, and I thought about it while I was backing up. I was like, I should have put the GoPro on the back of the truck. All you do is just mount it. But I won't think it like that. So this morning, I, I put it up there, as y'all can already see. It's gonna get tight down here. It's always good to have a ground guy. Slow and steady. <clears throat> you don't want to go too fast. I ain't in a rush to get out. Just take it easy. Now, last week, I did this. I had to actually end up pulling up one time. Good enough. Oh, pretty good. What's up? 
<clears throat> Almost there. Almost there. But this is where I had to pull up at last week. When my tractor started getting too close to the edge. We think we're gonna think we're gonna do it today without pulling up. I don't wanna speak too soon. Look like we almost made it. Yeah. Out of sight, turn right, see the trend, turn left. Shout out my dog, TD the trucker. Uh-oh, pedestrian. Get, get out of the way, lady. Shout out my dog, TD the trucker from Little Rock, Arkansas, who just went over to Blair to the bougie side. Blair got the bougie drivers. p &S. We got the we got the bad asses like myself. Blair drivers. Uh oh. Uh oh. I had to hit the brakes. And watch out for my mirror. Almost out of here. Almost out. Truck, 
I didn't get a chance to get my Dunkin' Donuts coffee because they had to keep they had to meet up keep moving my damn truck. Everybody telling me to keep straight. No, I ain't gonna keep straight. I'm gonna make a right. I'm gonna make a right, baby. I'm gonna make a right. show y'all how I get up out of here. And guess what the guy just told me? See that bridge that was 12-2? Can't, no, can't go no further than that as of right now. So they got to He said it could be two to three months before, before we bring any more pipes back to this, this area. But they got, uh, they got two other job sites up here in New York that I go to. One in Queens, since I took the trailers out, ain't been back to that one. It's been a while. The one in Brooklyn, which I've been to a couple times, but I hate going there. Uh, oh, 
There we go, brown guy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy, for letting me, waving me through. What time is it? Seven fifty-one. Last week when I left, it was it was seven thirty-four. I remember seven thirty-four when I left last week. I hope y'all enjoy watching this video, man. I hope I really hope y'all enjoy it. It might it may be a little long, but I wanted to show you the entire process. Cause I could have put the trailer when they unloaded the trailer. I could have put it in time lapse, but I just let it record. So I hope y'all really enjoy it. If, if you watch to the end, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. One thing I never said, I never said this, but a lot of YouTubers said, "Hey, make sure you hit the bell, hit the bell button, so you know when I post." <laughs> Cause, cause guess what? I, when I don't post, it's probably cause I'm doing something that I've already done before, and I don't want to show it. So now, since this New York loads are going to be put on pause, ain't no telling what I'm gonna do. Cause this was, this was my high paying load right here. So now, since this is over with, for a little while, we gotta find something else to do. Last time they put a pause on it, I was uh, I was going uh, taking these same pipes, not not the white ones, but the blue ones. I was taking them to Texas, the Corpus Christi, Texas. I did that load uh, a few times, so maybe I maybe I might go to Texas. I gotta make this right turn right here. First the UPS just jumped in front of me. I couldn't get out fast enough. I hate when these cars do this and I gotta make a right turn. And they don't even try to back up. They just sitting there chilling. Look at that drive van down here. What you doing, Mr. Drive Van? How you get up in here? Signal on too quick. I gotta be careful with this green light right here. Cause these cars will try to cut in front of me. Alright, I gotta make a left right here. I used to follow the truck route. Following the truck route. 95 is straight down this road to my left. But the truck route will take you straight through the stoplight. Green arrow. Yeah, truck route take you straight through that stoplight, and you'll be fighting traffic for down 45 minutes just to get back to 95. And 95 is just straight down this road. I never, but, but I used to, I used to go that way, following the truck route. Until one day I was sitting over there. In a quarter mile, slight right on Pelham Parkway South. GPS trying to reroute. But yeah, I was sitting over there at that stoplight 
where you gotta you gotta make the left, and then you gotta make the right. The one where you gotta make the right, I was sitting there, cause uh, one time before, they had to close the road for you to turn on that road, so you might sit at the stoplight for about 10, 15 minutes till they get the road closed. So I was just sitting there, and I kept seeing trucks making left, like coming straight across in front of me, and then making a the left turn coming down this road I'm on right now. And I was like, how the hell are they making that left turn and it's not a truck route? So one of the guys, they, they got a tow truck guy that, that's out, that works out there too. He wasn't there this morning, but if he if he would have had to tow some cars, he would have seen them. If y'all seen them, y'all probably seen them on my Snapchat. Cause they always tow cars. Cause like people are parking the construction zone and when they get there in the morning, they got to tow them. So I was talking to the tow truck driver. I was like, man, I keep seeing trucks going straight down this road, but my, my GPS is telling me I, it's not a truck route. And he was like, yeah, man, you go straight down. He was like, you gotta go northbound. Then you gotta get right back, right back off on the exit and just make a loop and get back on the southbound. And I was like, oh, okay. So I pulled it up on uh, Google Maps on satellite view and I looked at it and I, I, you can see the arrows on the on the on the on ramp and the off ramp on Google Maps. I don't know if you ever noticed that. On satellite view, it has like the arrows to show you the direction of the traffic. That's another tip for y'all, new drivers. If you, when it comes to the trip planning, like it it have arrows. Try it out. Go to Google Maps. Just go to a freeway and look at the the, the, the on and off ramps. And you'll see the. Uh, You'll see the what you call it. You'll see the arrows. We're almost there now. In 300 feet, make a U-turn if possible. Here my GPS saying make a U-turn. She don't know no better. That left right where you just see that bus. Oh man. Or you just seen that bus just go? That's the left I made yesterday. Get off. I tell you what, these damn buses in New York, they just as bad as the cars. They will cut your ass off quick. That's why I just back up from the buses. Go right ahead. That's the propane bus. Yeah, I let the buses go right ahead. But yeah, try it out. Go on Google Maps and pull up a, a random freeway and just look for the arrows. It'll show you the direction of the traffic. Woo! As soon as I get weight violation ahead. This is what my GPS telling me now. Weight violation ahead. Here we go. Right back to the freeway. That's so easy. Now what I gotta do, I gotta go north. Speed warning. Violation ahead. Wait, violation ahead. Miles, take the to the I north. Yeah, I gotta go north. I go north, get off on the exit to put me right back on the same road, and then I get off on the southbound exit. You about to see. The only thing I don't like about this this exit right here, you gotta stop. We don't have like a uh what's that acceleration lane? Cause these cars be fucking hauling ass. There's a police coming right now. Yeah, these cars be hauling ass. You gotta be careful before you jump out here. These motherfuckers be getting. Get off on the north exit. We don't, we don't wanna go to Connecticut. So I'ma get right back off on this one. 8C. The same one that I got on yesterday when I went to the job site. <laughs> hey, y'all can learn some things from me, man. Y'all can learn some stuff. Warning, weight violation ahead. Back to a weight violation. In 200 feet, go straight on, exit 8C and then take the entrance to the right at 490 feet. Yeah, yeah, what do we have here? 95 South, George Washington Bridge. That we have here, baby. See how easy that was? Now I, don't, now I didn't have to go through that downtown area and fight that damn traffic. What I used to do, kill my damn self every time. If 
right traffic, sharp ass right and left turns. This is a whole lot easier. Now I got a yield sign on this one. The other one just got a stop sign. I still gotta slow it down. Make sure don't nobody hit my ass. Make sure I don't hit them. Woo! Hey, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling when you get back on the damn freeway. <laughs> it's always a good feeling. When you're driving on some back roads, some state highways, when you make it back to that interstate, it's always a good feeling. Hey, flatbed gang, man, I'm out. I'm out, man. Love y'all. Hope y'all love me. Flatbed gang.